Hey gang, it's Thursday, September 5th. The market's gonna open in about 45 minutes. Global shares are higher. There's optimism that US and China are, work, are going to work things out. And again, I don't have high hopes for this, but they're actually going to sit down at a table face to face. It's gonna be the first time since the discussions have broke off. It's gonna take either later, it's gonna happen either later this month or beginning of next month. I don't think they have a date set yet. Um, but it's going to happen soon. There is an agreement on talks. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that the stock market's going to make new highs. It just means there's going to be talks. All right. We don't have any any um, any definite answer on anything. We don't have any discussion confirmations. We just know there's going to be talks. But markets rise on, on on uncertainties, and that's what we're showing right now. Now let's talk about things we do know. Fed data. We have jobless claims. The numbers came out. They came out slightly, just slightly ahead of uh, or higher than the, the actual came out at 217. The consensus was 215,000. We're still within range. The range is 204,000 to 218,000. The average is a 214,000. 217 is a little bit higher, but it's still within range. It doesn't mean that much. Um, the Fed can use it as evidence tomorrow when Jerome Powell speaks and say the economy is slowing down slightly, but honestly, it's in it's within range. Technically, there's something interesting happening. Let's go to the dashboard. Want to show you something really cool here. Want to show you the E-mini S&P here. This is really interesting. The E-mini S&P, this is before the, this is the morning session. This is still the overnight session right now. We're breaking out higher. We've been going flat all month. We're right now, this ascending triangle that we're seeing is, looks like it's gonna break out. The question is, will we make all time highs or we're gonna test the new highs? It depends. A large degree, it depends to a large degree on what Chairman Powell's going to say tomorrow when he does his conference. Yeah, if, is he going to talk about interest rates going lower? If he's going to hint that they are going to be going lower further this month, the bond market and the stock market is pricing it in at about 85% of, of, the, of, the, of the odds are saying he will. If it does happen, the odds are stocks are going to go higher and test old highs. I don't think we're going to make any new highs. If he says we're going to hold off because economy is stable, that's not going to be good. That's going to cause the stock market to go back within its range. As far as momentum indicators, they're fairly neutral right now. They're not stretched out. So there is a possibility for market internals for the stock market to go higher. But again, um, don't expect a runaway market from these levels. Maybe a little bit more higher and then back into the range. I'm not seeing a catalyst for higher markets right now. And that means the odds are stocks are gonna stay within a few percentage points of where they're at right now. Here's the thing, if things work out with China, it's going to have a major, major impact on small cap stocks, much more than broad than larger cap stocks. The reason you're seeing large cap stocks overvalued or overinflated in comparison to small cap stocks is because of China. And if China gets resolved, it's going to push about 2,500 or 3,000 stocks much higher, and it's going to give the market the momentum it needs to propel us higher. But till that happens, it's not going to happen. Let me give you an example of what I'm talking about. Huh, it's not giving me a candlestick. Anyhow, this is the Russell 2000s. You could see the highs were all the way up here. The highs happened five, six before summer started. And we're now at 1503. If you look at the SPY, you'll see the high happened two months later. So the small caps began assimilating this downside much, much quicker than the large caps. So that's what I want you to focus on. Remember, the s and is only 500 stocks. The Russell 2000 is over two, it's about 2,000 stocks. And if it starts moving higher because of um, things working out between, chi between Trump and China, they're gonna see upside. If not, they're gonna keep this market from going higher. And right now, that's where we're at. Hope that helps to give you a good dynamic of what's happening with the market right now. If this helps, Send us feedback, support at marketgeeks.com or uh, post on chat box. Hope this helps. Talk to you guys soon. Have a great week.